Today, we're making an outdoor garden bench. This one is gonna be inspired by the George Nelson platform bench sold by Herman Miller. I'm a huge fan of the vintage Herman Miller chairs. I actually have a couple myself. We're not following any plans. I'm gonna take some liberties in the design and I thought I would make it very difficult on myself by trying to use nothing but two by fours from the home center. These things are full of voids, they're not square, so the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to joint them and plank them and mill them up to try to get them somewhat flat and somewhat square. This could be a challenge. And today's video is brought to us by Sunday. More on them later. To increase my chances of success on getting these flat, I'm gonna cut them in half first over at the miter saw before running them through the planer, the joiner, and the table saw. I feel good about this. We were very, we were very, very picky when getting these two by fours. So we have all of the two by fours milled for the slats. Normally you only have to mill three sides because you're gonna rip it to width. But because we're working with two by fours and you got some things you have to work around, I milled both this side and this side so I have a choice of which side of the board to work on. So now I'm gonna rip all the slats to width here at the table saw. Also, for an outdoor bench, you probably don't want to use two by fours. You probably want to use something like teak or cedar that is rot resistant. I priced teak and cedar, not a chance. Uh, so I'm just gonna put a marine varnish on here later. When you mill up all four sides of two by fours, it looks halfway decent. I mean, look at that, that looks nice. Doesn't look like it came from the home center. These are gonna be the two end pieces, and then this is gonna be the middle piece. The middle piece is twice as thick, so I'm gonna glue these two guys together. And today I'm using the quick, the speed set type bond, because I don't have a lot of time. I got things to do. These are the two sides and the middle piece. I'm gonna cut them too long, and then after we cut the dados, I can cut it down to its exact size. I think that's gonna be the way to go. Today we are going to use my second least favorite tool in the shop, and that is the dado stack. Dado stack, dado? Dado, I hate this thing. It scares the crap out of me and it takes a long time to set up. But I set it up where it is three quarters of an inch high, it is three quarters of an inch wide, and I am going to cut the two outside pieces and the middle piece all at the same time so I have them taped up. Basically, this is my test piece here, basically we're just going to make finger joints and go all the way down. I've got an entire video on making a finger joint jig. It's super quick and concise, and it's the exact same thing that I'm doing here. Basically, I'm running my fence through the dado stack, adding a pin and then moving that pin over three quarters of an inch. And this pin will be my register to cut all the fingers. So here I go.
far so good. I cut this too long and then this is waste down here. So we'll just cut that off. But so far so good. All right, now the slats. The slats only get three dados. Is this a dado? I am using a dado blade. So you got one dado here, one dado here, and then you got the double wide in the middle. You got the double wide trailer in the middle. So I'm just gonna use the same jig and just use the gauge block up against the pin to cut them because they are gonna go right on the end. We're making an outdoor garden bench for the outdoors. So why not have a nice lawn to go with my garden bench? And today's video is brought to us by Sunday. Sunday is a subscription that combines unique data with cutting edge science to help you grow a better, greener lawn with mystery free ingredients like seaweed, molasses, and iron. Things you can pronounce. I went through the initial setup. So basically you just go to their website, you plug in your address, and then they use satellite imagery to map out your lawn. Then they're gonna send you a kit based on your climate and location. This kit comes with a little soil grabber thing. Not sure what it's called, but you can use this to grab samples of your soil. You box it up, you send it to their lab, and then they do a soil analysis. I got that all boxed up. It came with the shipping label. So all I got to do is just drop this off in the mail. In the meantime, I get to take their lawn and garden nutrients and spray my lawn while I wait for the analysis to come back. It is super easy. All the instructions are dead simple. This is really easy to follow. It's like a one, two, three step process. And then based off of all of that, you're going to get customized shipments throughout the year to keep your lawn looking fresh. The nutrients comes with this little hose attachment. So this goes in the bag. This bag then gets connected to the hose and you spray for about 15 minutes. You're done. You sit back and you watch your lawn green. Our lawn isn't the best looking because we're in kind of a wooded lot. So there's a lot of shade. Our soil is very sandy, so it's hard to take care of. So the Sunday package is going to really help us out. And it's just really simple. Head to getsunday.com slash make something now to get 20% off using the promo code make something 20. That link will also be down below in the description. Maybe in a few weeks, we'll check up on my lawn and see how it's doing. Thank you, Sunday. Let's get back to this garden bench. We got the two end notches cut and they are gonna fit right over there like that. The middle one is double wide because the middle piece is double wide. And so what I am going to do is I'm going to cut a groove right down the middle here. And I've got to stop here with my fence and I'm gonna cut through, I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna cut through again. And that's gonna put that right dead smack in the middle of this board. That's not going to fit. So then I'm just gonna nudge my fence over a little bit and then do the same thing. One on this side, one on this side, and I'm gonna keep nibbling away until it fits into the double wide. So once I have my fence and the spacer set, I can do the rest. The reason you don't use the fence is because you don't use the fence and the miter gauge at the same time. That could cause you safety issues. So you put a little spacer in there, a butt up against that and then run it through. That's it. I don't have to use the dado blade anymore today. So let's go glue this up. I'm gonna start in the middle section. 
I might not even need clamps. I got such a nice fit, except maybe I'll have to clamp the outside ones because they fit on the outside notches. I'm using Type Bond 3 because it's waterproof. And I just realized on the centerpiece, I glued these two pieces together and did not use the waterproof glue. We'll see what happens. Rule number four. So now we're going to make some legs. This isn't my design, so I should probably change something up about it. So I'm just gonna make some really big, hefty legs out of the remaining two by fours. The legs got painted with some outdoor paint, two coats on all the sides, four coats on the top and bottom just because it's end grain and it's gonna be sitting on concrete. I did use some spray lacquer on both pieces before assembling. My thinking was to drill in from the top and use some two and a half inch screws to attach the top to the base. And I didn't quite feel comfortable with that. So I took out the screws, I drilled in much deeper and then used some dowels instead. And I feel a lot better about it. And then took it all back outside and did a few more coats of spray lacquer. I was going to use a marine varnish on there, but it's too thick for my HVLP gun. So I decided to use spray lacquer. So I put a ton of spray lacquer on there. It came out good. I think it's gonna hold up just fine. If you like this project, check out this outdoor patio table that I made using nothing but basic power tools that you can get from a home center. Also, over on Patreon, we have a weekly show called Sundays with Dave. It's behind the scenes and I just talk about random things and what's going on here in the shop. And we just launched a new community Discord just for our Patreon members and I am loving it. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something. <laughs>